This is an emergency, I'm begging urgently, this is a serious case. Direct energy reader, don't believe in ring zodiac signs or birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. I'm going to be doing you a five card spread via the five cards you chose. Uh, if you selected your seventh house, you must ask that card a question. Can't skip it. Uh, what else? Uh, again, be open with the spirit and have fun. Ask questions if you got them, all right? One more time. I say ask questions if you got them, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Spirit keeps giving me a message in my head and saying it's too late to turn back now. It's too late to turn back now. It's too late to turn back now. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it may come out of maybe that's just spirit. So I'm going to this app, the mark that you call. Bam, complete. There we go. All right. Okay. Okay, come on. There we go. All right. So I see the houses. I got. I, put, I installed a new desk. It's a sit to stand rise desk and it's, and it's just moving I ain't, I ain't brace the legs on the ground good enough all right so i've taken the liberty sh uh, shuffling your card i want you to say your first name so i can pray on do i have permission to cut your cards yeah all right Let's get this started. I kept seeing like a slope, like a skateboard ramp, skateboard park, or just somewhere where it's like a slope. I don't know what that means. I'm thinking skateboard. Cause they didn't show me the whole vision. They showed me a slope, and then they showed me it fade to black like nighttime. So a nighttime park, I'm gonna say. I don't know if that means anything to you, but. So we're gonna go over here to your, we're gonna start with your second house, your fifth house, your sixth house, your seventh house, oh good job, and your ninth house. So that, oh boy, I see what's going on. Yep, I see what's going on. I'll tell you. About it. So we're gonna start with your first card, which is in your second house. Your second house is ruled by Taurus and is governed by Venus. Your second house represents your current economic situation, your current money, your current wealth, right here, right now, prosperity. In this house right here, you have the four of air in the upright position. Spirit is saying you are being taken advantage of on a verbal level when it comes to your money situation. People are picking you, begging you. Uh, they're just sent, they're just giving you those sympathetic bone, uh, tossing you those sympathetic bone, and, and instead of you like trying to help them get their shit together, you like just coming out of pocket or you either doing some buying meals driving them places you're just being taken advantage of people are lying to you about your money would you like to ask this card a question uh yes when will well i guess because i'm being taken advantage of uh, i'm low in it mm -hmm. when will that change well when will i have enough Okay, I don't. I, I, this is not in the. This is not in the house that I want to talk about this in. But I'll oh, tell okay. you. I, no, 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 no. I'm just saying. I, I see what's going on. But I tell you what Spirit is saying. Uh, Spirit say as soon as you stop laying on your back and allowing these individuals to talk you out of your money while you're laying on your back. Now, when he said that, I don't know if this is a sexual partner you're having that's that's talking you about your money that you're assisting. Uh, but Spirit say you're laying down. And the in these multiple individuals are 
just like talking to you about your cash. But let me see. What was the question again? When will my, um, my financial situation turn around? Spirit, when will her financial situation turn around? Spirit is saying freedom. When you let, yeah, when you get up and let this shit go. Detach from drama. When you stop, when you just get up and stop laying down and listen. Uh, when you stop listening or when you listen to what they actually say and pay attention. So this is your money that they're taking. So why is, why is Spirit telling you to break away from, break some ties, break away from somebody when it comes to your money? Say that one more time, I'm sorry. Why is Spirit telling you to break away from somebody, cut ties when it comes to your current money? I'm assuming because they fucking me, fucking me dry, taking it away from me. Okay. So you're just being a doormat for people, but why are, why are spirits showing me this in the bedroom though? And we ain't even got to the bedroom house. I don't know, because I find it weird or you know strange that I thought my money situation was because of me being, um, what's that, like emotional spender. Okay, are you buying stuff for the bedroom? Are you buying stuff to make somebody feel good? Are you buying something to impress somebody? This is what I'm trying to get you to look at now. Uh, well, yeah, I do buy stuff to make all the rooms look good, but for more so for myself. Because okay. I don't know why in my mind, as long as it looks good in here, then everything is okay. okay. And I know it don't make sense, but it makes sense at the time. I know, but still, keep in mind now, that's just a self spin. That's okay. Everybody got to get themselves up. Keep in mind, this is somebody taking advantage of you. So are you doing this to please somebody or you're doing it? Let's say you're stocking the refrigerator for somebody to come over. You're buying their favorite body wash. You're buying their favorite food or you're trying to make them happy. And this person know you're doing this for them. Whether it's a male, female, lover or friend, family member. You see what I'm saying? Spirit said yeah. this is they're taking advantage of you. But it has something to do with your bedroom situation. Gotcha. I know that. Okay. <laughs> you following what's going I know on? About. All right. See? So yeah. detach from that shit real quick. Let okay. listen to the game. Now we're gonna go over here to your fifth house. This is the bedroom house. We're gonna go over to your fifth house. Your fifth house is ruled by Leo and is governed by the sun. Your fifth house represents your sex life or entertainment or love. So sex, life, entertainment, and love. In this house right here, you have the Ace of Fire in the upside down position. Spirit is saying with this card being in the upside down position, you are not living up to your full potential as in you're not opening your mouth or you're not bucking the system. You're not doing no challenging. You are just letting the shit go the way it go. So where is your wants, desires, and love in this? Where What are you getting out of this deal when it comes to this bedroom situation? Hell, because I only see one person winning. I'm happy. I'm I'm happy to be breathing. Hell, I'm I'm happy to I'm happy to have a nice bed. I'm I'm happy to have food in the refrigerator. But shit, am I eating it? Am I enjoying what's in there? You got me. But that's what I mean by that. Like I'm I'm genu I'm genuinely happy. Like you're so, the idea. You're happy, but spirit is saying, "Where's your courage? Where's the you want to try new stuff? Where are you telling how you want the shit to be done?" You follow me? It, Spirit ain't saying you're okay. not unhappy. Spirit saying you're not standing your ground or making any demands. Let me change that. Oh, okay. Okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? No, no, not that one. So you understand what they're saying. Time for you to start saying, hey, I want a piece of the pie too. That's you, yeah. All right. Now we're gonna go over here to your sixth house. Your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and is governed by Mercury. Your sixth house represents your future economics, future money, future wealth, future prosperity. In this house right here, you have the dwarves and the gnomes in the upright position. Again, spirits say this is procrastination or either fear because you are not making the move. You're dreaming about what you need to do, but you're still sitting on the rock fantasizing. Spirits say it's time to stop fantasizing and actually put goddamn uh, a foot to ass. You fire, fire the ass, time to get on the ball. You got a plan. You know how you want shit to be. You done manifested it enough. Spirit say, where's the action to go along with the manifestation? If you want this future money to go, 
get off this rock and start making it happen. All right. Would you like to ask this card a question about your future money? Yes. Go ahead. Um, is the financial path that I'm going down as far as um, okay, the side job that I started doing, which is a fear, because I know I've asked all of it, is that what I should be doing? Oh, excuse me, that spirit. You say with the side job that you're doing? Spirit, uh, uh, you say with the side job that you're doing, will it pan out for you? Uh, what was that question? Yeah. Basically, that's it. Is, is that something I should continue doing? Spirit, uh, is the side job uh, something she should continue to doing that's going to get her the gains, to get her to the next step, to get her future money uh, state going? Spiritual laws of attraction. I love it. Yes. Mother, wife, sister, daughter. I love it. Yes. And take charge of the situation. Yes. Okay. Yes. I, and then, wow. Uh, what's going on with this side job? Why am I seeing a relationship in, uh, starting there? Because that's how it actually, I got in the process of doing it. It was a friend of mine who um, introduced me to it. So I, I got licensed to um, be able to sell insurance. Oh, okay. Um, and I'm now supposed to be studying for my financial security license. Okay. And I met someone in the process. The person who brought me in. Okay. She and I are now, I guess, an item. Yeah, mother, wife, um, sister, daughter. This is more than just an item, darling. Yeah, I love them dearly. And I, I, I truly feel the feeling is mutual. Spiritual um, But I get straight away from it. Uh-uh, you messing up. Spiritual laws of attraction. This was divine. All this is divine now. Spiritual laws of attraction, okay. mother, wife, sister, daughter, and take charge of the situation. You guys are romancing and financing. Do not let your whatever the hell you got going on get the best of you in this right here. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go over here to your seventh house. Your seventh, the Baron, the real deal. I know, right? <laughs> now we're going to go over here to your seventh house. Your seventh house is ruled by Libra and it's governed by Venus. Your seventh house represent your relationship, the couple dating, matrimony, love, romance, and passion. In this house right here, you have the ten of earth in the upright position. Spirit, the ten of, let me tell you what the ten of earth is. This is all the groceries coming home, food, cup running over, abundance, winning, 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 all the money, all the goods, the services. You have all this goodness in your seventh house of relationship. Spirit say, don't mess it up. You win here. You are winning here. Would you like to ask this card a question about this windfall that you've been stumbled across? Yeah, because there is stipulations with him. Okay. So he is currently married. Okay. Um, they are, and I know there's three sides to a story. His hair is the actual truth, but. Um, Let me get some straight. I wanna I wanna hit that auto correct button on your look ass right quick, like high spirit say. Let me hit the auto but correct button. Uh if spirit says that listen what it, when it came to this person that you was in that you dealing with, spiritual laws of attraction, y'all came together for a reason, and this is gonna be your finance and romance card, this future money. So this guy is that is needed in this situation for you. You call this person in. Next, you got mother, wife, sister, daughter. This is a relationship coming in, romance and finance. Spirit said, take charge of the situation. Don't let this slip between your hands. Don't let it go. Now we go over here to your, set, your uh, seventh house. In relationship, Spirit said, you win. You get the bag. And now you're questioning the bag that Spirit gave you because he is married to somebody he's trying to get the hell away from. Not, I know, would you, 
we've grown up to, you know, that certain things are wrong. I've I'll get been you. married, I've been divorced, I've been on the other side of that, and I'm trying to do the right thing. So, as long as I know the spirit mm-hmm. is not looking at me any kind of way, then I'm okay with it. Uh, uh, this is basically divine. So listen, some people don't know how to treat the right people. And some people just don't know what they're doing. And just because she screwed up and lost a good goddamn man, don't mean you need to sit up there and allow her to keep accessing the man. Because guess what? Somebody's spirit going to drop somebody else on his ass. If, if he's coming out of a marriage that he's not dealing with, he on his spirit say he's telling the truth. He's on the outside of this thing now. And he's looking at you and he's pouring into you financially, spiritually, and mentally getting you fortified. And you know that he's a capable man. And Spirit just told you in this reading, mother, wife, sister, daughter, and you winning. And you're going to sit up there and say, well, goddamn Spirit, because I grew up to, to not fuck up and I've been hurt before, I'm just going to let this blessing go because he need to be fully single before we can deal with each other. And you already tasted the goods, you're crazy and you're going to lose. Spirit brought this person to you. This is you doing your job to heal him and get him before somebody else get his ass on the market. All right, I'm holding on to it. Would you like to ask this card a question, Seventh House? When is the... Is there a time frame? When is the time frame when everything's going to come together? Gotcha. Spirit, when is this relationship, when is she going to win this bag? When is it going to be all hers? When is he going to be her in her presence? Spirit said priorities. There you go. Positive change. Let it go. Priorities, positive change, and let the poison go. Spirit say as soon as don't spirit say don't rush him because trust me, he is working his way. As soon as he handle his priorities, get all his affairs in order, money, property, whatever, child support, whatever the fuck they got going on. He is working to secure his system. Once he know he's securing that shit, he's out. He ain't just going to be up there, oh, I don't want to leave because of the kids and I just want to keep screwing you. No, this man is going to like, I can't take this shit no more. So this is happening very soon, by the way. He's working to get his affairs in order. He is trying to let the poison go. All right. Now, we're going to go up here to your ninth house. Your ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius and it's governed by Jupiter. Your ninth house represents your reality, your future, what will be, what will be coming to you. In this house right here, in this house right here, you have the devil card in the upright position. Now, Spirit saying the devil card in the upright position, what will be coming to you is something that is very addicting. When I say addicting, you're going to be so addicted to this situation that you're going to want to control, manipulate, and boss. Spirit say do not. Do not try to boss this situation. It is not for you to boss it. Hmm. Let this happen organically. Do not sit out there and say, oh, he's screwing me so good. I want him now. Or, oh, we do this together. I don't, and he, and she come to the office and try to make it, to the insurance broker and try to make it seem like they got a good relationship. I don't like the way you kissed her and hugged her. Don't do that shit. Don't try to control it. Let this happen organically. This is going to be okay. yours. You follow what Spirit is saying? Jealousy don't need to play a part because this man is working his way out the door. Sometimes we got to wear the mask that grins and bear it. You got me? Okay. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, no, actually. <laughs> My, uh, thanks. So how did you like to read it? I loved it. I guess the thing on my mind is the beginning. It's too late to turn back now. Oh, what you mean to think on your mind and you don't get it? Look at the song. So far in it now, I'm gonna keep going. Look at the song Spirit saying, "It's too late to turn back now." And what they told you, don't give up on this situation. Let it happen. Come on, man. You better listen to what Spirit telling you. <laughs> I don't get the song. It's too late to turn back now. You involved. You invested. Too late. You get the bag. You done state your claim. Too late to turn back now. So that means don't ruin this. Go for it. Don't back off. Go for it. In all honesty, I 
I'd be lying to you if I said I wouldn't, because it, it, you're right. I, I, it has so much of that in it, even if I wanted to. I'm at the point where, excuse my language, it's like, fuck it. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens, because, <laughs> like I said, I'm happy. Who would die? Now, when y'all gonna start believing that the Baron the real deal? Oh, I know you are. <laughs> I love it. I know you are. Yeah, Spirit is saying this is all you, Hill. You good. You winning on this one right here. Just do not let this jealousy overtake you. You understand his situation. You got into this thing understanding his situation. And Spirit is saying, in all intents and purposes, he's working his way back to you, baby. There you go, sing it with a burning love inside. I'll be working my way back to you, babe. Okay. All right. So, how you like your reading now? I, I love it because that was the whole point. And I thought that was the whole point. And I thought that was the whole point. I'm trying. I'm trying, and now I'm finna cut off the readings from March on up and open up twelve from twelve o'clock, so I can because I'm booked all the way out to March now, and I can't get booked up no more. I I just gotta make sure I get up, get caught up again. I I can believe it. Let me tell you, I was listening to you. Was it yesterday or the day before? Because mm -hmm. I know on Mondays you do the um the ancestral prayers. Yes. Yes. And I don't always get that because I'm at work at the time that it comes out, so I try and listen when I get home. But yesterday you were speaking on something. I know you started because somebody must have pissed you off because they called you or something. Yeah, 2.30 in the, the morning. Beginning. Yeah. But what you got into after was like, yeah. Yeah, the, the message and the healing the body, mind, body, and soul. Yeah, I just had to yes. I just had to get yes. that off my chest to let these people know, man, there's rules to this thing. You don't just cause you stress and you call me that time in the morning, I still got a whole damn girlfriend. Well not only that, but like you said, you know, it's, it's almost like some people when people say they so so heavenly good that they don't you know, they so they so good that they don't understand that you know, they don't they don't understand that they don't understand that they so spiritual to the damn people, earth thing. You know, I'm going to keep on teaching because, you know, I got to make sure we get this. I love it. Yeah. And you think you have a lot of people listening to you, so don't stop. Uh, you are touching more people than you realize. I love that. Uh, uh, a good friend of mine by the name of uh, Paula, I'll mention her name. She, 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 I did a reading for her and after a reading, she gave me some really good advice. She like, I can see the change in you, Baron. And she say, it's because you're angry, you're pissed off, people taking advantage of us. She say, but don't you change you because this is what we need out here. Say that just, mm -hmm. just you keep being you, keep giving information, don't make your readings all cold. And you say, people may not get it, but we get it. And the person who understand, they're going to rock with you. And she was like, you just a blessing to, the, to this world. And she, and, she cha and she put me, she, she ain't said it in a nice way too. So I, I just understood because I'm a man about mine and I could take my lumps. So, yeah. But so. the way that you put it is the way that people need to hear it. And she made a good point. If they rock with you, they rock with you. Like yeah. some things you just need to hear, you need to understand. And for people like me, who are a little confused and still trying to find their way through it, mm -hmm. to hear that, you know, I'm not so holier than thou, oh, you yeah. know, makes me feel like that doesn't mean that I'm screwing up on my, my spiritual journey. And it's funny because I was taking my bitters this morning and I thought about what you said about them herbs. <laughs> <laughs> taking my nasty herbs. Oh my. And you'll never do that again. And here it is. I'm doing that trying to detox my body yeah. and do all that. And I'm like... Go get you a Coca Cola yo. every now and then, but man, I I tried that shit. I, I look, I, I boy, don't they better not ever say put no shit like this on hot water. I care, I care how much honey I put in that bitch, it still tasted bad, and I had to get used to them damn bitters too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. 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 I know.
Yeah, I take it because I work in a hospital, so mm -hmm. I was trying to keep my immune system as healthy as possible through this all. And um, it was just funny because I, I was taking it and I'm choking it down, and all I can do is just spit it out as I'm laughing about what you said mm -hmm. and how nasty it is. And I mean, here I am killing myself trying to get this stuff down. Yeah. I can skip a day or two. I can skip a week. I'll be alright. Yeah, just enjoy it. Let your body rest from it. Let your taste bud rest from it. Let it know you ain't beating it up. Uh, but yeah. Well, it, again, it was a pleasure talking to you. And if you need to reach me, you know how. Alright, thank you so much. Yeah, you're great. Have a good all right, everybody, that was a pretty good reading. Uh, she has a, uh, I'm going to tell you about this woman. She has a strong sense of morality and everything. And she just, she's the type that she's so selfless that she can't see when God giving her something. It, it may be wrapped in a sin, but after she cleaned that sin up and it becomes all her, she'll understand. That's a message for you guys. God can give you something wrapped in sin, wrapped in dirt, boo-boo and stinking. And you may think you're doing the wrong thing. But that's an old Christian way of believing. And just know that spirit is just always going to bless you and put what's in your life that needs to be in your life. And don't get mad at it if it don't work out. Don't take advantage of it. And don't try to control it. And spirit is going to let you get what you need to get. That's the message, everybody. I'm the Baron, telling God to trust you and universe. Because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. So try on my hands so we can begin purification all right so as you know I'm a direct energy reader don't believe in reading the zodiac signs of the birthdays I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun we're going to be doing you an emergency reading uh, the emergency reading consists of five cards Dig you five cards and tell you what spirit got to say to you and those are uh, when it comes to those five areas on an emergency basis if we can get through the cards and we have some time left i give you a chance to ask you some questions that's plaguing you all right all right again be open with the spirit have fun and and let's see, can we fix this? No question is a stupid question, uh, but it is rules to how you phrase the question, okay? Okay. How you been liking the videos and the premieres? I'm looking soft. Really, um, informative. Yeah. All right. Well. Okay. Well, I'll take a little shuffle in the cards. I want you to say your first name so I can pray on them. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes. Yeah. All right. So we're going to lay this card down in your first. Your first card is in your fourth house. Your second card is in your seventh house. Your third card is in your eighth house. Your fourth card is in your ninth house. Fifth card is in your tenth house. Okay. All right. We're going to start with your first card. Your first card is in your fourth house. Your fourth house is ruled by cancer and it's governed by the moon. Your fourth house represents your actual house and home where you live. It also represents the three closest people. Three people, spirit said four. The four closest people that you will allow to stay in your home via friends and family in this house right here you have the six of air in the upside down position spirit is saying this is a return of something so you somebody was gone and they came back but this person that come back either they sold you some wolf tickets or a wolf cookie but one they put you in a bad mindset and this person is coming back why are you letting all of these people come back into your life who hurt you or fucked you over? I don't understand. But spirits say this is a very logical decision on their part, but an emotional decision on yours. Hmm. Would you like to ask this card a question? Yeah. Uh, do I need to let go of all of these people? Spirit, since you put the kibosh on all these people coming back around her, 
Spirit said mother, wife, sister, daughter. Okay, feminine. Let it go. There you go. Let it go. And then they said you can do it. Stand up to your parents. Stand up to the well, stand stand up to the feet to the to the female energy of the group. Spirit said, uh, the female definitely shouldn't come there. Let that go and you can stand up to her. Are, is this girl bullying you? This woman, this kid, this child, this lady? Mm -hmm. My daughter, she took my grandchild. She did what to the grandchild? She has him in her custody instead of mine. Okay. And her brother's mine. And they come to live in your house or in your city? In city. Okay, because I'm, yeah, okay. So, this is, yeah, so these people are shit. Stand up to them. Tell them to fuck off, please. <laughs> oh, all right. You ha you satisfied with what Spirit had to say with that card? Um, yeah, so, so Spirit's not talking about mine. Spirit's talking about the bunch. No, all Spirit talking them. about all of them, but Spirit say you need to stand up to the, to the female of the bunch. So, to all of them, none of them should come live with you. Or none of them should be in your energy, a circle of space. You can't stop them from living in the city, but your damn sure they don't have to come to your house. But Spirit's saying you need to address the female of the crew. So, how do I do that? Uh, okay, I'm not going to let you waste all your questions in here because it is a time thing. But Spirit say you need to stand up to her. Spirit, give her some okay. insight on how should she stand up to this person. Spirit said energy healing. Okay, got that. And go now. Spirit said when it comes to the energy healing, you need to like really like tell her she ain't got no power over you. She ain't going to keep on hoarding the baby over you. She ain't going to keep on hoarding the son, what the son did to her. I don't care what the hell this girl is blackmailing you because the moon, fourth house represent the moon and it has secrets. So I don't know what she got over you. I don't know why she feels she could do this. But Spirit is saying energy healing you need to just put it in our life like I don't give a shit what you do or how you been where you go you can't let her give you this old sob story and manipulate you or, or anything into bowing down to them spirit is saying in order for you to get out of this depressive state stand up to this person got it alright now we're going to go over here to your seventh house your seventh house is ruled by Libra and is governed by Venus your seventh house represents your relationship Oh, okay. There you go, Spirit. Uh, you showed me. Uh, Represent your relationship. Yeah, I'm not tired. That's just Spirit. So, your seventh house represents your relationship, the couple dating, matrimony, romance. Not brother and sister. Not not none of that shit. This is you and your boo. In this house right here, you have the the man card in the upside down position. Spirit is saying this is somebody that's not happy. So basically the man is not happy or you're not making this particular individual feel satisfied, loved, or needed. Because this person is bucking the system. So what's going on in that relationship? Why is this man look, not looking at you and he's looking the other way? Uh, he's got other responsibilities. Okay, so he's not in your home. Y'all just in a romantic relationship. Y'all not in a 100% marriage. Okay, yeah, this person, listen to me good now, this man that's looking the other way, he's looking the other way because you can't, he, he's not seeing the strength inside of you. So if he was with his other people and he came to be with you and you was his everything, you was his peace of mind, and now that you're so stressed out, depressed, and, and, and on narcotics, basically, not saying you are, but I'm just saying how spirit's saying it. He's looking, he don't have a peace of mind no more. He comes over there to lay with you, hang with you, chill with you, be with you, it's drama. So he's like, yeah, I, I need to look at something else. And that's the God under truth. That, that sounds more like my ex-husband. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, so you still screwing with the ex-husband too and this fella? Uh, well, you know. The, you get a lot of spirit. I'm okay, I won't, I won't call you a liar. Yeah, you know, I got, I, I could if I chose, you know. We ain't saying could have, would have, should have. Are you still dealing with both of these men at the same time? Because your spirit is telling you somebody's looking elsewhere. And the one that I'm seeing, yeah, it is an outside individual. So then if it's not your, the one that's not your ex-husband, 
that's doing this and then you have an ex-husband that has his other piece on the side and you're just like going in between these two dudes I mean you need to be very specific Yeah, you're in a very depressed state. You're in a blackout zone, Spirit said. So if you can't get to the bottom of your blackout zone and you want to be coy or don't want to, or want to come off as a whore or want to come off as a home record, I don't know why you're holding back. But Spirit is seeing it and Spirit said he's not going to pry because you are too damn grown to be sitting up here. You come to a spiritualist to get help, let's get the help. So, so here we go. I'm going to break it down a little bit further. So, in your seventh house, you have the man card in the upside down position. Spirit says the man that you're dealing with is looking elsewhere because of your depression and your attitude. You can't, you can't, you're not, not can't, you're not attending to his need. So, he's looking elsewhere, either looking to go to somebody else or looking to go back home. Then you say, Baron. That sounds like my ex-husband. What about the boo thing that you got going on now? Because spirits say this man is right next to you. Spirit ain't saying this man is three leagues away. I didn't hear the last part that you said. Spirit is not Spirit is not saying this person is three leagues away from you. Spirit is saying this person is close to you. That's why I asked the question. Are you still dealing with your ex-husband and this person at the same time? So we can rule this down. Who you need to be focusing on if you need to focus on them at all. Well, okay, so I, I would, less, it would be less my ex-husband, yeah, less of him. You're talking, around, you're talking around the topic. Less, it's not saying, okay, if you're screwing one today, screwing one tomorrow. If you entertaining one today, entertaining one tomorrow. Spirit's saying, ask you a simple question so he can get to the bottom of this. Are you dealing with these two men at the same time? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Feels good to say that now, right? It's okay. I'm not judging you. Trust me. Now, Spirit is saying, the one that's walking away, his hairstyle is not a low cut like mine, but it got a, he got, got a little bit more on top of his head on the top, not the side. It's like a flat top, but just a real stylish low cut flat top. All the dudes be bald. All the dudes, okay, all the dudes are bald. How did his, how, how did his picture look in his younger days? Do you have uh, this? I'll say, let me describe them again. Spirit, you know what? I'm going too far. I'm going too far. Because if I'm thinking about olden days, this is your ex-husband. The spirit told me to take it back to an ex, to a, your old picture that you may see. This is your ex-husband. This can't be no new boo. Gotcha, Spirit. So, yeah, so, yeah, so whatever you were doing with your ex-husband, he's getting ready to fold on you. Correct. He's already, he's already made that evident enough. Yeah. He can't make it too evident if he's going to come back and knock on your door. Well, I don't, you know, I don't think he is. He just sits around and waits for me to ask him for stuff, you know, but he doesn't really show any interest, so he's probably not even going to do that. Well, get this. If you're not the kind of chase him and you're not showing him interest, and then Spirit just told that. Because you don't have the time mindset to deal with this person. This person is looking to go the other way, right? Right. Spirit just said that. So my cause is right. Now, what Spirit is saying to you, if you don't have the time and energy to deal with this person, allow him to go on about his business. So you can get out of this depressed state. So if you're not the one chasing him, or you ain't into the chasing thing, why am I smelling banana peppers? Why am I smelling banana peppers? Is that something he like on his food? Banana peppers? Don't you? Okay. Yeah, spirits say it's him because I'm tasting vinegarish banana peppers on sandwiches and everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's, it's the ex-husband. Now, we ain't even talk about the boyfriend that you're romantically in love with. We ain't even asked a question about him. So, spirit already gave you about the ex-husband, what's going on, and you just confirmed yeah. that. If you want to ask this seven card a question about the boot thing that you're dealing with right now? Spirit, she wants to know 
Should she deal with any of these on an emotional level? Father, husband, brother, son. The ex-husband is very emotionally invested in your ass. Surprising. The one that's just a regular old devil little hit thing or that you've been dealing with, he's the one that just, you know, in it for the puss. But the ex-husband, he really likes you. So invest in the ex-husband. Why he act like he don't? Because you're depressed. He don't want to be around that shit. Mm. He don't want to be around that. But yeah, if you're going to come give him some cooties, yeah, I come and bang it up because I really care about this woman and love this woman. But I don't got to sit up here and be depressed with her. No, that stuff is empathetic. You know, I'm an empath. I probably got that from him. Well, that's what you're saying. That ain't how empath empathy works. No, you don't. Like, you, I mean, you know, other people. But he don't even know it's mine. I'm gonna. Both of y'all as depressed. I'm just gonna put it out okay. there. Both of y'all depressed, okay. but you depressed more because you get bullied by some young stupid girl, and then you sitting up here don't know if you know which one of these dudes liking you. But spirit say if you're gonna do anything, pour into your hu ex husband. So maybe if you get happy and y'all and y'all start dealing with each other, you get rid of his depression and both of y'all can heal each other. Just a thought. I'm gonna go on because I'm because we gonna be on these cards all night. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not jumping on you now. I'm having fun with you right now. I'm having fun too. Trust me. I have to laugh at this mess. Oh my god. <laughs> all right. <sighs> Now we're gonna go over go over here and did you just say hamburger? I said hamburger. Oh, we from the now, same we from the same generation. French fries. I remember that I remember a comedian got up there on uh Showtime at the Apollo and he it was he was like say shucky ducky but then he was like no nah, hamburger. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, now we finna. I'm sure I got you by a few years. So. <laughs> got me by a few, huh? Yeah, I got you by a few. I'm only 26. I'm 29. Damn. Tried to tell you now. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go over here to your eighth house. Eighth house represents. Your yeah, eighth house represents your subconscious mind. What it is you think about, desire, fear, and want. In this house right here, you have the two of air. It would go with this air again. You have the two of air. Why you sighed? Yeah, I sighed because what I saw. <laughs> we have the two of air in the upside down position. Having the two of air in the upside down position, spirit is saying your biggest thing is not is somebody falling out of love with you. It ain't about them separating from you, leaving you. It's just that if these people don't love you no more in no capacity, that shit destroys your mind. It's like I need to always feel relevant with these people. Even if I don't want the person. Even if the person don't want me, I need to always feel relevant. And Spirit is saying this is the thing that's in your head that you are becoming obsolete in both of these men's eyes. But here is the thing. No matter who you deal with, even if it's your kids, your son, your daughter, your family, don't matter. Even with all of that there, Spirit saying that's your biggest fear. But when it comes to these two individuals, you are becoming obsolete. That spirit say you ain't wrong there, but not being loved, cared for, and seen as a hero with your other family spirit say that's bullshit. Because won't nobody be trying to get back in your circle if you wasn't there to help them. Did you just did you just move in a new house, or are you considering I've been there about purchase? A year. Okay, you've been there about a year. My mom buy a new house. You mm -hmm. just help your mom buy a new house. Yeah, spirit is saying, spirit is saying that 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 spirit is showing me four brand new walls around you. So okay, that's what that's about. I'm saying concrete pour, four brand new walls, and you're in the middle. So okay, you enter, you're in a new dwelling, and you just say okay. Yeah, you you help somebody out, so they you forever got their gratitude. That's all spirit say. So stop sitting up here worrying about if somebody ain't gonna love you no more. People still love you, and they will still love you too. Would you like to ask your eighth house subconscious mind a question? I don't think so. 
All right. Yeah. Yeah, you paused a long time. Now you think, now I'm making me think I should suggest the question. I should suggest something. You're reading. <sighs> I would ask a damn question about, I would ask every damn house a question. I don't care if you say, why my toe itching? I ask a question. I don't okay. care. This is a reading you paid good money for. Mind again, Subconscious mind, what it is you think about, desire, want, fear, this is all made up, just thoughts, haven't come to fruition yet. So in my subconscious, I um, think that people are not going to love me, that I'm going to be irrelevant. Okay, mm -hmm. I see where that came from, um, but I don't know, okay, um, is, how do I mend that? There we go. How do we, now, what, what do I do to put that in my favor? Spirit, how can she tip this into her favor? Spirit said, be very persistent. Choose peace. They go that mirror I seen. And Spirit said, fix yourself up. Spirit said, again, act like a lady. Act like a lady. Just know your worth. So be very persistent. Choose peace. And old Shun, drink more water. All right, now we're gonna go over here. Not okay. Now we're gonna go over here to your ninth house. Your ninth house is ruled by your ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius and is governed by Jupiter. Your ninth house represent your actual. I mean, sorry. Your ninth house represent your future, your reality, what will be, what will be coming to you, in this or what you create. Spirit said. In this house right here, you have the salamanders in the upright position. Spirit is saying what you're going to create, you're going to create a persona, a talking box. You're going to create this, this hip bag. So basically, you're going to, you're going to start lying to people. You're going to start lying to people, making people feel you're okay. You're going to be like not a sheep in wolf's, uh, uh, not a, a wolf in sheep's clothing, but you're going to be a sheep in wolf's clothing. You're going to be trying to act bad, act timid, trying to do all, I mean, act bad, be hardcore, do all this. But at the same time, you just still frail and timid and afraid of everything because you ain't healing yourself. Spirit say this act is really good. It's going to put on, it's going to serve a lot. But Spirit say unless you truly believe the shit that you're putting down, it is not going to make a difference because nobody can hold a lie for too long. So would you like to ask this card a question? Well, the question I would want to ask about the future is like, um, the, the endeavors that I'm thinking about, is that area where I should go? Hold on, let me, I'm, I'm trying to check the time on here to make sure we don't go. Alright, so you're saying the endeavor, the endeavor that you're supposed to go to? That, I, that I'm thinking about. Spirit, the endeavor that she's thinking about, the endeavor that she's thinking about, rather it be person, place, or thing, is this something she should go for? Spirit said, focus upon your strength. Spirit said, open your heart to love. And Spirit said, power of joy. Yes. Hit your, hit your personal endeavor up, okay? All right, now we're going to go over to your final card, which is in your 10th house. Your 10th house is ruled by Capricorn and is governed by uh, Saturn. Your 10th house represents how everybody will see you. Here we go again. Yeah, this is a good one. Your 10th house represents how everybody will see you. And in this house right here, you have another six. So your card basically was the same. Six, six. You know, this is a really good card. And in this house right here, you have the six of fire in the upright position. And if you want to be base this how everybody see you, and then you have and then you have the six of fire in the upright position, that this card represents somebody leading that you're excuse me, that you're leading the way. You're making things happen. So basically how everybody's gonna see you, they're gonna see you as their savior. Keep in mind, Spirit just said you're gonna be walking around as a lamb. In sheep's, I mean, a lamb in wolf's clothing, 
you're going to be putting on this facade like I got your back, I can help you, I can save you, but then when you turn off the light, you get undressed, you're depressed, and you're crying in your pillow or some shit because ain't nothing working out. Spirit say it's okay. You can lead you can lead the pack with this mentality. But no. When the lights go off and you all alone, you are gonna kick yourself in the ass. So spirit is saying be real with yourself right now. If you're hurt and pain, depressed, take them hits now. So at the so when you heal, you can go ahead and come out that motherfucker on the other side, commanding it with authority. Would you like to ask this card a question? Yeah, you can change. I'm not gonna ask for the question of that. That's just personality. You can change this shit on your own. You can you can hang up this phone with me tomorrow and just go take a big ass spit, fart, and piss. And next thing you know, you can say I'm a different person and be a different person. So this is not nothing spiritual here. This is emotional, mental. Now, would you like to ask this card a question about you leading everybody? Spirit, which group she'll be leading? Which group she'll be leading? So give her an idea. Artistic expression. Again, she say he said you're you're leading, but you're gonna be leading these people to in a lie. It's not gonna be the true you leading people. So this is you being manipulated again, but you manipulate yourself. But spirit, which group? Purification. Release tension. This is you leading the group of people. Uh, these people either have some form of medical issues or have a medical issue or a mental illness because you're going to be basically making them feel okay I think they just as depressed as you I think it's a lot the whole lot is just depressed and angry that your circle the whole circle so you need to get away from this yeah I think um, well what I see is like um, you know providing for them what wasn't there you know like like kids uh, aging out of the foster care system don't have anywhere to go. There you so go. Providing space, housing, and stuff like that for that. Mm-hmm. But, but so you don't. So you don't. So you don't want to deal with these foster kids no more, really. Well, I'm not doing that now. That's what I want to do, have an oasis. But, you know, it was saying that it wasn't the real me, you know, like a, a, a be a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's what I have to do to get it all established, you know. And, uh, well, if you want to if you want to be a foster parent, if you want to be a foster parent, then I, I get I get where you're saying. If you want to make a safe haven for children, spirit is saying 100 percent you need to heal yourself. You can't. They're not saying don't do the wolf and she clothes, but you'll be leading these people, and you'll lead them in a good way. But at the end of the night, after you done led them where they need to go, you go in that room, and then you breaking down and crying. Then spirits say the issue is if you look listen to the reading, these people are gonna eventually see that you out of your whacker or you sat in the prayer, and then it's gonna be hopeless. You already got people that done lost their family. They coming into a new house. They got issues of their own, probably mental issues, physical issues. And then you're sitting up there being nice and old gummy, gummy, gummy. And then at nighttime, they hurt you. They, they hear you cry in the room. Or they hear your phone conversation. Spirit is telling you to get over this shit quick. Okay. Quickly. Quickly. Especially if you're trying to re uh, reshape the mind of the youth. Hell, everybody can't be in that motherfucker. You're going to be like... Uh, what you call them people? Uh, the, 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 the girl and the boy who shot up the world back in the day? Uh, the, the, the white couple. Bunny and Clyde. Bunny and Clyde. No, you, you're going to you're gonna raise kids like that because that mama was depressed and she made all her kids depressed. One of the kids got married to this girl and then she became depressed and now all of them bank robbers and criminals. No, we're not going let's, to. Let's fix this. All right, uh, we over time, but do you have? One, I, I'll give you a chance to ask you a question. Um, no, I'm, my next booking is gonna be the twelve chakra. I, I, I wanted that, but it wasn't fast enough. So I'm 
Um, okay. Okay. So did you get everything you needed out of this? Okay. So did you get everything you needed out of this reading? Oh yeah, you verified, you know, everything that I pretty much knew and I and you answered the questions, you know, like where I'm going, where I am and and all of that. And so yes, I got the answers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's a good person. Keep him on your team, but just be be just perk up a little bit, okay? Okay, I like him on the team. <laughs> you say you like him on the what? Thank you. I like him on my team. <laughs> in somebody in his own house. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Keep him on your team. Good. Yeah, y'all both crazy as hell for each other. Believe it or not, if you didn't think he was stupid for you, he really is. All right, darling. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure Thank talking you. to you. Yeah. It was a pleasure talking to you, and uh, just buck up a little bit more, all right? Working on it. All right, darling. Well, you had your good evening. You too, thanks. All right. Bye. Everybody, that was our sister. She's just confused. She, she's not depressed. She's confused about how she want her life to go. And spirit gave her all of this, and she it has a good. She has such a good heart. She's getting ready to go and adopt children, but spirit says she can't do that until she fix herself because those kids are gonna come with a lot of problems, and she ain't gonna have time to go in the corner and cry for herself when no one of those kids from that foster system is having a mental breakdown. So spirit just gave her to, to go ahead, what to do, what she need to do, so she could go ahead and get her life together and be the leader that she needs to be positive comments below everybody if you ain't hit that like button now you really should because this is not only entertaining but it's real real spirituality okay i'm the baron telling you guys to trust you in universe because at the end of the day that's all you got please like share and subscribe thank you all thank you all soul tribe